in Chelsea. And I just want to say we're asking there are three alternatives being considered. No bill, no action, demolition with rezoning and demolition without rezoning. We want to see a fourth alternative being evaluated. That means no demolition with refurbishment. Yeah. And that doesn't mean lipstick on a pig. That means decent housing, not what they're going through now. This is outrageous. And, and every elected official should be in jail for what's happening in these houses. So, given that the project is motivated by fostering this public-private partnership, we request that the funding and financing aspects of the project be encompassed with the project scope and that a comprehensive financial analysis into both the environmental impact statement and any subsequent documents. This detail should include, but should not be limited to, the 2021 NYCHA estimate that required funding for repairing, which amounted to 487 million, which jumped to, in October 22, 1.4 billion. We would like to see a breakdown of these costs. In addition, there are no detailed project costs for the demolition and rebuilding. So we ask for a comprehensive breakdown to provide a precise estimate for the cost that may encompass elements such as construction materials, labor, permits, architectural and engineering fees, site preparation, and so on. A detailed cost analysis should be provided in the project documentation to offer a more detailed picture of the expenses in this endeavor so that we can compare and we can see where this money is going. It should be going to the tenants. And I want you to understand that CRDC is definitely behind the tenants, but we want this to be an open process. We want to see where this money is going. We want to see how they're spending it. And we want to make sure that you get the best possible outcome. Thank you.